Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, I don't know, somewhere like 535 or so, 19.5 degrees Celsius, 35% humidity. It was a nice day today for a fall day. It was absolutely beautiful. It is the 20th of October, Tuesday. This thing says 66 degrees. That says 68 degrees. So, there you go. What was I up to today? Today I actually pushed hard. I um, remember the Bolins, or the actually the um, 125 quad was sitting there, and the Bolins was sitting there. I got those out of there. I started up a little lawnmower and cut all this stuff back because I need to be able to get in here and move these guys around. So got that done. Obviously got the tractor fired up, filled up, aired up, so she was out working today. She moved these things around for me. So this is from the driveway and that's from over by the garage. I just dragged the Bolins over here to get it out of the way for now. So, there she sits. I gotta get that in a better place so it can actually perhaps do some work this winter. I went through all that trouble of popping the motor on there, but I haven't really used it, or forget about really, haven't used it since I did that. Put a lot of time in down here in the garage. And I'm driving myself crazy because I can't find anything. So I cleaned up and marked and stacked some boxes, that stuff over there. So um, this is empty. These these I went through and emptied. Um, this is mostly tools now. The only way I could get through this hoard, literally, is by dealing with it one box, one item at a time, and you just, you just got to grind at it. That other bike there, um, it'll move alongside of these, and this stuff, those two, go under that and that. Um, goes over the backhoe. So I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. This box is empty too. So I, it, once I get the empty boxes out of here um, and tighten up things a little bit, I should be able to get the backhoe in. Hopefully, I'll do that tomorrow morning. You guys, notice the golf cart is here. I just fired that up and drove it here. She fired right up. I was surprised. Um, I jumped it. I used the yellow jump pack, but I fired it up. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll probably put the charger on it overnight. And tomorrow morning, instead of running errands, I want to get some stuff done around here so that I could keep the forward progress. Seeing all that snow scared, scared me, right? I mean, it's only a matter of time before winter truly sets in and I'm just... I'm just screwed, right? I'm not going to be able to do anything. Over here, you guys could see, I started up the small lawnmower and I cleaned this up a little bit. It's kind of important to know where the, uh, where the drainage ditch is. Because um, if you don't, little things happen in the winter, like you put the truck or car in it. Yeah, this is where the golf cart was. I just got it out of here. You guys could see I also did around the plow and some of this over here. You guys can see my drainage ditch. Got no water in it. So that's how I spent my day. I just uh,
trying to get functional for the winter, right? I can't, I don't want to go through another winter where I'm um, paralyzed by the snow. And if things work out properly, what will happen is I'll get myself all cleaned up and organized, and then we'll have a winter without snow. And those are the winters I like best. Um, if I get a snowmobile, then I'll be like, oh man, I didn't get any snow. But, yeah, I got to, uh, it was, I was glad I got this, this stuff cut down. I mean, it was like cutting trees. This does not fit under the ranger. So I'm just leaning it up against there for now. I gotta really talk to him, my son about wh what do you wanna do with this? I can't, I don't have any place to store it. And it obviously doesn't have any value because you brought it to the uh, flea market and nobody would buy it. So what are we saving it for? I mean, if it was valuable, if it was worth a few hundred bucks, we could make space for it. But if nobody at the flea market wants it, why do we want to store it? Yeah, all the objects that uh, need some love and attention. Also, um, you know, while you're cleaning up, you start thinking. So, this 200, ATC 200, the engine needs to come off for me to do the jug work that it needs on top right so I gotta pull the engine off probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the engine off and put a different engine on it um, that accomplishes two things first of all this engine needs to come off to get fixed but what it does is it allows me to look at one of the other engines that's floating around to see what it needs to come back to life I'm discovering quite a few this isn't even the engine shed, but I got an engine over there that I'm not quite sure what its story is. I'd like to figure that out. And I discovered, you guys, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it to you, but believe it or not, there's an engine back down over there, a 200S motor, and I think there's still a two. 100s motor in the front seat on the floor by the front seat of the Ranger so and I don't know what the story is on any of those three so I really need to uh, to figure out what the story is on those I'll slam it in there so hopefully that thing's running soon this guy here I've been thinking more and more about this engine and it runs and all. I'm thinking of taking that engine out of the half a frame and putting it into the real frame and turning this into a real 200X. A 200X is a lot more valuable than a 200X with a 200S motor on it. And what else am I going to do with the 200X motor if I don't put it on a 200X frame? A 200S does not become more valuable if you put a 200X motor on it. It just becomes a weird bike. Um, so, I think that's what I'm up to. You know, when, uh, when Musty One had to clean up his place, you just got to go through it one box at a time. And it's also helpful, right, if you move from, like, different size boxes to uniform boxes, right? Um, it's much easier to stack and to label and, and so forth. These boxes are also good. They used to have water in them, six gallons of water, so they're pretty tough. Um, they're also meant to be stacked, right? So from that point of view, they're pretty good. And the other thing is, no matter what you put into them, 
um, because very, I, I mean, obviously, lead is more dense than water, and steel is more dense than water, but um, as you're filling the boxes up, it's pretty hard to get them to weigh much more than, what is that, 8 times 6, a little less than 50 pounds, right? So, okay, I think that's about it for today. Folks, I want to thank you all for watching and for commenting and for subscribing and for the encouragement, you know, keep me moving on this stuff. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and uh, remember to get out there and enjoy all your days. You don't know how many you're going to get, so get out there and enjoy them. Take care now, folks. Bye.